Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. I'm going to do a collective raid here. We're uh, Thursday, April 28th, 2022. It, although it is a timeless raid, it's for whenever you feel drawn to this reading. Um, let's go through it real quick. I don't use gender and I don't use signs because we all embody those um, energies throughout our life, depending on the situation. As the example I like to give is uh, if you're an earth sign and you're in a situation where you need to speak your truth and set boundaries with others, your card representing you will be the Queen of Swords, whether you're male or female, because that's what the Queen of Swords card represents, right? So if you're not well versed in tarot, you might miss your message or you might get confused, you know, be misinformed. And uh, I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. So that's why I do what I do. If I use he, she, the pronouns, it's only because it's on the cards and I'm trying to keep it straight in my head. Uh, so take what applies, toss the rest. Don't try to make it fit. Uh, just bear in mind it is a general reading. So use your discernment, please. Okay. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors of the white light. What are your messages for the collective, please? Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. I don't upload at set times. So. Uh, yeah, and uh, welcome from the new subscribers. Uh, I'm, really, I'm very, very pleased that you're here. Thank you for joining me on my journey. What are your messages? Are we ready to cut the card, Spirit? Thursday, April 28th, 2022. Thank you. First card out, we have strength in reverse. So somebody's maybe scared, uh, feeling weak, intimidated, um, <clears throat> vulnerable maybe. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. So, oof, there's an ending here, a death. I hope it's not an actual death. Um, yeah, this is a permanent ending, a profound ending. Let's see where this goes, right? Why is the strength card in reverse, Spirit? Please clarify strength in reverse for the collective. Why is the strength card in the reverse for the collective, please? Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors of white light. Strength in reverse. Okay. All right. Looks like maybe somebody's scared to death of making a phone call or reaching out to somebody. There's an assessment. Somebody's assessing a situation. Could be scared um, or feeling vulnerable. Maybe they're a young person and they're in a situation where they're feeling vulnerable. <coughs> mm. Let's see where this goes. There's been poor judgment here, bottom of the deck, judgment in reverse. There's been lack of awareness, lack of um, acceptance, a lack of accountability somebody doesn't want to be responsible for something they're not responsible irresponsible so there's judgment here they're getting harsh judgment for something um they're definitely getting some karma here this is a bad karma card yeah there's truth beneath that right ace of swords in the upright so some truths are coming out what Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, white light, wise, the page of wands here, please, in the upright. Somebody's standing their ground, maybe. They're not backing down for something. Ooh, okay, there's been a, a parting of ways here. Two of cups in reverse. Uh, this is a trust issue thing. Um, somebody has no integrity, loyalty, or honesty, possibly. This strength in reverse. They're being assessed. They're reaching out to somebody. There's a, a parting of ways. They don't see eye to eye. They don't get along. They're not on the same page, right? Could be a family. Could be a, a group setting. An organization. Ten of Cups in the Upright. Uh, this is a ten. So something's coming to an end. Uh, cycle's completing. This was maybe somebody thought this was a dream come true. You know? They thought they'd found their emotional fulfillment and happiness. This could be a family parting ways. Uh, um, it's communication at the bottom of the, the deck here. Eight of Wands in the upright. So it's fast forward motion. Could be travel, communication, or action that's coming here. Typically, it's considered good news. I mean, this is happy. So it could make a family happy or a group happy. We'll see where this goes. Why is the Ten of Cups here in the upright? 
Ten of Cups in the upright, please. It's an ending that's going to make somebody happy, possibly. Ugh. Okay. Speaking truth, this could be... Um, the King of Swords in the upright, a lot of people like to, to think of it as military, police, investigator, lawyer, judge, some sort of professional. It could be a, a doctor, surgeon, because of, of the knife, right, of the, of the sword. Somebody that makes decisions overseas and makes decisions for the best, for all involved. Uh, they base their decisions on facts, not on hearsay, not on emotions. They're very factual. And when they make a decision, they don't change their minds, very rarely. They cut through the, the bullshit, the minutiae with that sword, right? So some truths are coming. Yeah, making a decision and speaking some truths. It doesn't have to be a professional, by the way. It could be anybody just wanting to speak their truth, right? Very cold. I mean, they might come across as cold and factual, but they just want to keep it straight in there, you know, get it all out, the facts, right? There's been poor judgment again. Wow, some karma. Some harsh judgment here. Could be a judge making a judgment against someone. In family court, possibly. Divorce court, possibly. There was lack of awareness, lack of acceptance, lack of accountability here. And somebody's not. Uh, somebody's getting some harsh judgment. Getting some karma here. Why is the King of Swords in the upright for the collective, please? I can see why this person's feeling intimidated or scared, right? King of Swords in the upright. Why is he here, please? Clarify the King of Swords in the upright. Thank you. Yeah, it could be a divorce. It could be a separation. Uh, loss of a home, a business, stability, right? Four of Wands in reverse. Somebody was maybe non-committal. You know, they got into a relationship and they didn't really want to be tied down. Uh, some people do that, you know. It's, it's silly, but could have lost a home. A business. They didn't invest when they should have, or they didn't invest carefully, or they invested elsewhere instead of where they should have. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. This is going nowhere. It's a dead end. It's a card of you get what you give. Okay? So somebody gave very little, they get they get back little. You know? They could have had their house repossessed. If that happened to you, I'm very sorry, okay? You got nothing back in return. I I, I know it hurts, right? Maybe they invested poorly, this person. I don't know. We'll see. This is also a card that suggests that somebody gets in gets in a situation in order to to get as much out of it as they can. Like a you know, like a con, right? So I don't know. Maybe this relationship broke up because somebody was only in it for what they can get out of it, right? Not love, the wrong reasons. Four of Wands in reverse. It, it suggests a non committal, right? Four of Wands in reverse spirit. Why is this here for the collective? Thank you. The truth's coming out. M moon in reverse. Light's being shed. Yeah. There was there were illusions here. Bottom of the deck, we have oof. This character, the devil. So there was some sort of codependency, possibly. Addictions, obsessions, mm, jealousy, temptations, greed. Anything that binds you, right? And that prevents you from moving forward in life, right? That binds you. Maybe somebody was trying to bind somebody to themselves, right? Trap them in various ways. I mean, you see people doing that with children and or uh, businesses and, you know, houses, you know. Uh, investments, right? So it's, that person's less likely to, to leave, you know. But it could be codependency could be addiction I, I don't know yeah lying cheating and or stealing right trying to get away with stuff devil energy whatever this is somebody got stuck with something why is the moon in the reverse please maybe some uh, a lot of bills i don't know moon in reverse yeah money mm. somebody lost it all possibly they lost their stability their security this is ten of pentacles in the reverse here loss of family could be theft. End of the road here. Yeah, and that somebody's not working. Lost their stability. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. They didn't, maybe, they're, maybe they lost a job. That's quite possible. And if this is your story, I'm very, very sorry. Um, but in, it could also be somebody didn't put any effort into a situation. They didn't try. 
or somebody wasn't cut out for the situation, right? Um, they weren't, uh, they weren't qualified. Uh, they were bullshitting, right? They were posing. We'll see. And that was Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, <laughs> that came out right away. The tower and the upright revelation could be an eviction. Okay, but this is a revelation not to hurt you and not to <clears throat> destroy you. This is something that was built on a uh, faulty ground. Okay, it was false impressions, a false sense of security. It, it was not stable. So the universe has come in to shake things up show you the truth in order so you in order for you to be able to rebuild again recoup again you know what i mean it's not a good feeling i know that yeah this is uh love right ace of cups in the upright in the bottom of the deck this is a blessing believe it or not sometimes <clears throat> hardships are really a blessing because you wouldn't be in the position you are let's just think back in your life okay if you didn't go through those hardships, you wouldn't be where you are today in a good place. That's if you're in a good place, right? You know what I'm saying, right? You wouldn't have met that love of your life. You wouldn't have gotten that job that's so perfect that, that you know, that more than pays the bills. You know what I'm saying, right? Um, you're going to rebuild. You got to rebuild maybe yourself. It could be an internal uh, rupture here, okay? It could be a health issue. Um, you got to love yourself, okay? You got to love yourself and open your heart, okay? It could be very emotional here. Obviously, it is. Um, this is a blessing in disguise, I believe, okay? It's going to be a shock, but it's going to be a blessing in disguise. I don't see, I don't know how it's going to happen, but trust me, it's going to happen. That was the bottom of the deck, Okay? It is a blessing in disguise, somehow, some way. I know it kind of looks not like that, but spirit has a weird way of doing stuff, right? The divine. Tower in the upright. Why is this here, please? Big revelation, a big shock. Okay. Something. Oh, that's too many, spirit. Let's try this again. Why is the tower in the upright, spirit guides? Guardian angels, ancestors, the white light. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, something was not equally yoked. It wasn't an equal give and take. If it's a relationship, it wasn't fair. Somebody got breadcrumbed, misused and used, right? Abused and used. Um, it could have been fraud. It could have been theft. Somebody's having a hard time financially making ends meet. And things aren't balancing out. You know, the scales are upside down. You know, it could be an empty bank balance at the moment. I don't know. Somebody's heartbroken. Three of swords in the upright, of course. Yes, this hurts. Yes. It really, really does. Losing hope, feeling hopeless. Maybe they're ill at this time. It could be a heart attack. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't think it is. I don't uh, take it as applies, okay? Maybe illness got in the way of you working, okay? And things are falling apart. Let's see where this goes. Six of pentacles in the upright. Why is this here? Spirit guys, guardian angels, ancestors. Okay. Oopsie. Queen of Swords in reverse. So I don't think it's a heart attack. I think somebody's angry. Queen of Swords in reverse. This is a very hard energy to deal with. This is anger. Anger issues. Um, Hot-headed, spiteful, and, and very, very vindictive and jealous, jealous and jealous. Lies, lies, lies. Yeah. Not very forthcoming with the truth here willing to do almost anything, right, to get their way. They're very vindictive and vile. If you offend them, uh, the slightest, the least offense, uh, they don't forget it. <laughs> and they try to get even with you eventually, you know, if it's a work situation, a, a home situation, who knows? Yeah, the devil, oh, the devil, why'd that come out? Wow. Hermit, the devil, the queen of swords in reverse. I get it. Um, hermit in the upright bottom of the deck. So somebody was trying to hide something, cloak something, but, uh, this could also be discovery. Okay. Uh, and most, a lot of decks, this hermit is shining a light above a snake. So this hermit has, sh has shone a light on a snake here. All right. Somebody's gone within. They may, they need to do some self soul work, this person, right? Um, but yeah, maybe somebody, she was trying to cloak something. I say she, it could be he. They were trying to cloak something, hide something, and somebody held the light up on this, right? <laughs> For all to see, you know, coming in out of the dark, maybe. 
Queen of Swords in reverse. Why is this energy here, please? See you. What I say, devil. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. Okay, codependency, addictions. Co it could be anything that binds, right? Yeah. Anything that binds. This person could have, the Queen of Swords here could have addictions. Um, lost money, stole money for these addictions. Maybe she's losing her, her stability and, and, and security and this person's codependent. Now they're on the warpath, okay? Yeah, there's a divorce, a uh, separation, somebody was non-committal possibly. Could be a crime. I don't know. We haven't gone there yet. Could be. This is um, no faith here. They're not very spiritual. <laughs> See the devil? Here in reverse, this is a higher power, right? This is God. Mm -hmm. Could have a God complex, by the way. Let's see. High and mighty. A lot of, uh, lot of uh, very egotistical and, and conceited and arrogant, right? Very arrogant. Oh, yeah. Sharp with tongue, right? And verbally and mentally abusive. Devil in the upright, please. Just a devil energy. Toxic. It could be a karmic. There's a loss of income here. Finance. A big major blow financially. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Wanting to recoup these finances. Um, wanting to come in from out of the cold. But I think it's just a, a loss here. Big financial loss. Huh. Addictions, maybe. This is a King of Cups, right? This is a father figure. Sometimes doesn't have to be. Loving, compassionate, giving, generous. It could be a man in love or a woman in love. Doesn't matter. This is somebody that loves deeply, very intuitive and very psychic. Um, they're very stoic, as you can see their face. You can't tell how they feel or what they're thinking, but underneath. Below the surface, this is really choppy waters, right? They're masters of, of, of hiding their emotions. So maybe this one's on the warpath and this one's just keeping their cool. Trying to keep steady. Maybe having a drink just to take the edge off, right? Um, maybe this person's saying as a father figure to the ex. Maybe it's an ex. I don't know. Or now will or soon be an ex. I'm not giving you any more money, right? This person's just... You're not phasing me. You're not bothering me, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to be compassionate. because it, it, This energy is compassionate, trying to be fair, right? So you're trying to be fair, trying to be compassionate, but I think they're also not trying to sell themselves short either, leave themselves short financially. Yeah, they don't want to fight. Seven of, Pentacles, uh, seven of Wands in reverse. They don't want to fight. They're trying to be cool. You can see that the back is turned, slightly looking away. Why is the King of Cups here in the upright? Five of Pentacles in reverse. King of Cups in the upright. Why is this here, please? Thank you. Ooh, the Emperor in reverse. Uh, could be infidelity. Could be somebody that really worries about their image in public and so forth. So because of that, they give in to public pressure, typically. Maybe this one's trying to stay strong. I don't know. This could be corruption. Um, in the upright, it's a father figure, father figure, father figure, right? Maybe they're finding out they're not the father. You know, it could be on Mor Mori po Povich. Um, and then they're finding out they're not the father and they're no longer going to be supporting this woman and the children if there's children involved. Um, this is power, wanting power and control. Loss of control, though. This is out of control. Maybe it's the drinking, you know, losing money because of drinking, infidelity. Maybe that's why she's on the warpath. I mean, there's always a reason behind it, right? Yeah, this is not a blessing. Loss of income, squandered income, ace of pentacles. Could be an opportunist. <laughs> Very much so. Could be an opportunist. So that's turning around now. Okay, so somebody's angry, pissed. Okay, I get it. Queen of, Pen uh, Queen of Swords in reverse. I get it. Maybe it's just, I don't know. Why is the Emperor in reverse, please? Or maybe he's just trying to, he or she is just trying to manage their emotions right here because of 
you know, peer pressure. They don't want people knowing something's going on. They're trying to hide it. You know what I mean? They're, they're in the past, maybe they weren't very strong. They, they gave into peer pressure to this family. They stuck around longer than they should have. But this is a shrill, very shrill, hard to deal with um, energy. So I think that's what's going on here. They, they never stood up for themselves. They only give in. They always gave in to others. Okay, well, now they're standing up for themselves. Okay. King of Wands in the upright. Now, this is somebody that's taking the lead. They're standing up, defending, protecting. This is being a leader, taking the initiative, right? Having the power. They took their power back, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, they're working on themselves. Eight of Pentacles about on the deck. Eight of Pentacles in the upright is working on themselves or working to achieve a success, right? Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the light. King of Wands in the upright. Why is this here, please? King of Wands in the upright for the collective. Let's, let's bring this to an, uh, a close. Let's bring it together, please. Yeah, there's collaboration. Maybe these are two different three different people. They were collaborating together, shining a light on something, some evidence, uh, some plans. This could be, yeah, this could be corruption here. Like, bear in mind, this person looks okay on the outside, right? But inside, they're bricking it. This could have been corruption here. And then this is a kind of whistleblower, uh, um, a defender, public defender. Who knows? They're collaborating. They're making plans. They're discussing this. They're shining a light on something that went wrong here that was wrong. Now the worst has happened. It's now out in the open. I think it's in the hands of people that can handle this. Uh, this is an, this is the, the worst has happened, right? It's a nightmare. This is totally stressed out, not sleeping, not eating, um, paranoid. Oh yeah. Severe grief, severe regret, being haunted. This is a contract. I forgot to mention the three pentacles in the upright could be a contract. It could be, yeah, they're being contracted to do something. They're looking at things, they're assessing things, discussing things, working together with others. Cooperating. Ah, three of pentacles in the upright. Working with the queen of cups in reverse. Wow, I didn't expect that. This is an energy that's very superficial and, and shallow and, and selfish. Um, a bad mother. It could be a bad mom. It could be the same energy here that's the queen of swords. She's freaking out right now. I say she, but... It's a mother figure, right? Um, very superficial, emotionally manipulative. Uses emotions to get their way, uh, even though they can't control their emotions, okay? They're all over the place. They don't care who they hurt. They're self-absorbed, selfish. There's no love in this in this cup at all. No emotion. If there's emotions, like I said, it's, it's, it's to use people. If you see tears, it's self-serving. It's not a nice energy. They wanted to live a life of luxury, maybe. They want their freedom, maybe. Maybe this is a hospital setting, a court setting. I don't know. They want a life of luxury. They want it to be stable and secure. Or maybe they're giving that impression. That's what it is. Nine of Pentacles in the, up in the upright. They're trying to give an, an impression that they're single and abundant, stable, secure, independent, or they can live independently. So I think it's they want a life of luxury. That's why they're freaking out over this money. They want to be taken care of, yeah. They want a car. They want trips, chariot in the upright. They want to win. They want to move. <laughs> This is taking, they want to win. This is a victory card. This is having awareness. So somebody's having awareness. This is an action card moving forward. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's in sincerity, see? Knight of Cups in reverse, bottom of the deck. Yeah, a con. 
You know what I mean? They don't mean what they say. They false promises. Um, sex without love, sex without emotion. That cup's in reverse. There's nothing in it. They pursue you until they get what they want. So this one wanted, yeah, stability in a car. Totally insincere. Smile in your face, light through their teeth. Yep. So now there's a reversal of fortune here. People are maybe comparing notes about this energy, right? Figuring out, okay, this one's the one that's the troublemaker here amongst all of this. Maybe there's more than one relationship. I don't know. Or in the family. The family's discussing this, right? <laughs> they collaborated to make this person look unstable. And they really turned out to be stable. This is a victory in control. That's what it is. Somebody was telling t uh, tales about somebody behind their back. Trying to make them look unstable. For some reason, in court, for children, I don't know. It's a breakup, right? It's a breakup. It's, it's children. They were trying to make this person look unstable. Yeah. Driving and drinking, possibly. Oh, look, look what she does. Da, 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 da. I say she, but it could be he. <clears throat> but it's turned around on them now. Wheel of Fortune, this is karma. It's turned around. Oh, yeah, it's turned around. And it's coming to an end here successfully, an end of a major cycle in someone's life. The world, it's come full circle now. This person is proven not to be this way and that way. They were saying that this person was shrill and a, a headache to deal with and... You know, this could be, this could have been one of these men, because there's a few men here that had a bone to pick with this energy and wanted to get revenge for some reason, okay? Now, somebody stood up, the King of Wands is standing up, and they're going, no, 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 look, I found some evidence. This is not true. She is stable. I'm saying she, again, mother, right? She is stable and secure, okay? This is a victory. This is awareness here taking accountability she's taking accountability for her life she's going places right this is all bullshit it's over sorry took me a while to get there again justice in the upright wow the sword of truth reigns again bringing balance and victory to a situation they've been exposed six of wands in reverse these sh uh, shit talkers yeah been exposed. They're, this is public humiliation here. Or maybe they're bringing justice for the humiliation they put this person through. They're not going to win. They haven't won. Yeah. Yeah. They lied. They lied. Yeah. This person <clears throat> was in the dark, left in the dark, maybe unhealthy. You know what I mean? They're unhealthy because of the stress. Maybe they, they, they were in a depress, de depressive state. That's for sure for all the bullshit they, they were put through, right? Could have have their children taken away temporarily didn't couldn't see them you know what i mean <clears throat> yeah queen of pentacles in the upright this is a loving nurturing caring giving healing energy they know their value and worth they hold on to it very tightly they don't give it away um they know who they are know thyself right <clears throat> they're they're hard working diligent they have integrity loyalty and honesty they're faithful and loyal. Wow, they picked the wrong one. They picked the wrong one to hit to, to do that too. Yeah, they left her defenseless, defenseless and 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 vulnerable. Seven of Wands in reverse. Didn't want to fight. Didn't want to fight. But they've been defeated now. This is overwhelmed. She was overwhelmed, I think. But that, they've been defeated here. They have, they made so many bad accusations. This is an accusation card as well. Now people are seeing the truth, speaking the truth, okay? Eyes are opening up to the truth. Yeah, they were reckless, careless, and foolish. Uh, no loyalty, dog in reverse. So whoever took part in this, if they were <clears throat> obviously exes, whatever, yeah, she stood her ground here. This is the Queen of Wands in the upright now, okay? She's standing her ground. She's powerful. She knows thyself. She's confident. She's independent. You cannot persuade her, okay? She knows the truth about herself. You're not going to paint her in a different picture, okay? She's pretty stable. She's standing her, she's standing her ground here. She doesn't need anybody. She knows who she is. She doesn't care what people think about her. 
she's still going to live a good life. We're going to leave that there. So congratulations. I'm sorry you went through that, okay? I know in courts, they make accusations when there's a divorce, when there's custody, and it's horrendous, and it takes a long time, and you want to speak your truth, and they won't let you. They won't let you because there's, there's conditions, and there's this, and there's that, right? It's horrible. I'm so sorry you went through that. I'm sending you a great deal of healing and love, okay? You deserve it. It's over now, okay? Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors what of the white light. Oh, no, no. Here we go. This was chaos and conflict in reverse. Number 33. Master number 33. Uh, three, is, three is six. So that's the lovers in reverse in the tarot. So there's consequences to this. People are going to pay consequences. This, is, this was totally one-sided, by the way. This poor person who was accused and put like right through the coals, okay, had no support. There's consequences to this. You faced a giant, okay? I'm going to tell you this. I mean, when you're in court, you're facing a giant here. It's intimidating. It's You're feeling vulnerable, but you stood your ground and you won. Good for you, okay? If you can face this, you can face anything, okay? You can do anything now. Be proud of yourself. I know it's going to take a while to heal. Take the time. You're going to be okay. You and your children. I promise you, okay? 33 in reverse. So I'm going to read the protection messages in the reverse. This is an advantageous, advantageous moment, excuse me, to restore order and recognize the opportunity for negotiation. Even in the seeming chaos, there's a kind of divine order, a complete resorting of elements, a blessing in disguise. I think you're going to get something out of it. Maybe a settlement for all the shit you went through. This is powerful. If your intention is to find the best solution for the highest good of all, there is positive news. The timing's perfect. Things are already stirred up, so don't be afraid to jump into the mix. You'll discover everything you need to know about how the situation affects you long term. Be present in the eye of the chaos. This moment is valuable. Don't waste it. Oh my God, I got chills, so it's resonating, okay? I wish you a lot of peace and healing, okay? You deserve it. Congratulations. If you like the read, please like, share, and subscribe. And to the new subscribers, thank you for being here. Welcome. I look forward to getting to know you. Until next time, take care.